failure to inquire before presentation of opinion is always an error. What this means is before you can tell anybody what you think, you have to ask them what they think. Because that's fair. Because everything else is, is an attempt to influence. If you say, I like football, what do you like? That's a basic example. I like football, what do you like? You're attempting to influence the other person to like football. It's, it's the way language works. Mm -hmm. You're also exposing yourself and creating a potential for conflict because you don't know if that is acceptable for the other person or not. So you would say, you know, what are your preferences in terms of sports? And then yeah. you moderate your responses to their responses if you are a kind, considerate, caring person. So you find out what the other person likes or dislikes about pets and animals and is acceptable first and then you present what your expectations are because then you realize what is what is possible within the situation uh, that, that's fair negotiation mm -hmm. that's fair negotiation and everything is negotiable simply from the perspective of the fact that we don't know everything because we haven't experienced everything and there might be a better way that we don't know about. Mm. Yeah, and different ways, also different ways work for different people. You know, everybody cooks, a, everybody cooks the same meal in a different manner. Right? It, it's, it's, it's the way that we are and it can taste just as good one way as it does another way. Well, sometimes yes, sometimes no. Whatever. We're not we're, we're not right just because we have habits. Mm. Because your habit is dependent mm. upon your habitat. Yeah. Okay. The environment is always stronger than the person. Because the environment shapes the mindset. Because it's environment, mente of the mind. Mm. It, it's the mental situation. Yeah. Any attempt to control the environment is an attempt to control the people. Mm -hmm. There. Uh, yeah, it is. You can do this, you can do that. Sorry. Yeah, it's just when people say you can do this, you can't do that. You know, whether it's park your car here or put a poster on the wall over there. You know, it's, it's always just an attempt to control the people. It's 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 the way. <laughs> it's the way that we are. It's how we roll, basically, mm. as uh, as human beings. Mm hmm. Yeah, I mean, empathetic people will go into any situation seeking to know more. Otherwise, mm -hmm. you're just pretending that you know and you know, seeking to influence ever, everybody else. Um, how do you know if your product is a great product when you don't know what the needs of your client or customer is? And then when mm -hmm. you realize that everybody's needs are different, mm. and that probably everybody is buying the same product for a different reason, <laughs> and that maybe yeah. there, maybe there is a product which is better than your product, but maybe they don't want to buy that product. I don't know. It 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 gets complicated very quickly with that so um, yeah it also comes back to the fact that when you're speaking you're not listening mm -hmm. 
which comes back to the fact that listening is hard because we hear something and we want to respond. And our mind goes on. Yeah, mm -hmm. conversations are complex. You know, topics, you try to follow any one conversation and the, the topic might change three or four or five times during the conversation, which is, which is why I go back to business because... You know, you're all sitting around a table, you've got a problem to solve and you've got to work at solving that problem and you've got to focus on that problem. You can't start talking about what John had for breakfast, right? And, mm. and it is it is easier to talk about some things than other things. And that's not always the road that we want to go down. Watching TV is easier than talking about the stuff that we need to talk about. Uh, it's it's a mindset because I I interviewed a woman recently who whose whose aim it is to end to end Children's poverty. poverty. Yeah, yeah, yeah. To to end poverty for for kids and. I think that I think that poverty is not a financial situation. I think it's a mindset. I think it's the mind that's poor. And it doesn't matter what physically you give them. This that that doesn't really change the mindset. So so it is complex. It's it's because you're you're working with the intangible, the things you can't hold. That that that's complex because anybody can anybody can be changed in a moment for a moment, but it's not the moment that matters. It's the long term picture. You can give anybody anything that they want or need right now. Mm -hmm. But giving that person the ability to sustain themselves for a longer period of time is, 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 is so much more complex. It's the fishing. Give somebody a fish and teach them how to, how to fish. More than that. More than that? It's asking them if it's okay for you to teach them how to fish. Mhm. Mm mhm. Mm Cuz maybe they don't maybe they don't want to fish. If they don't want to fish, then there's nothing that you can do that's going to get them to fish. So or or finding another way around that which is going out and fishing yourself and inviting them to come with you so that they get an opportunity to experience something different. And if they, and, and, and allowing people to take from that what they can take from that and allowing them to experience being challenged. Because unless we're challenged, we don't change. And you can't challenge someone who doesn't want to be challenged. Mm -hmm. So, people who the, people become successful at what they do because they believe in who they are. And it doesn't happen without a certain level of that that belief there. Um, you have to not only do you have to have the skills, you have to believe that you are good at something before that thing will happen. Because you have to you have to realistically value yourself. And real realistically is a key term there because we. It, we often overvalue and undervalue ourselves. It's really hard to judge from 
the feedback that we get from others. Um, because other people don't understand our motivations. Mm -hmm. I mean, how many of your friends ask you, what motivates you to do this? They just accept the fact you do it, right? Yeah, actually, if somebody asked me, why, why did you do yoga in the last six days? Why? Mm. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, it's a much deeper question that requires more thought and more time and more energy and you know, more, more dedication to understand. Um, on one level, our friends accept us for being who we are. On a deeper level, they would really need to understand who we are. Yeah, which I would say that begins with realizing whether a person is moving towards something or away from something. You know, is, is your motivation in front of you? Or pushing from the back is is well is it behind you and, and I think you're either moving to I said this before I think you're either moving towards something or you're running away from something. And, the past, mm -hmm. Yeah, and the right kind of motivation is always in front of you, not behind you, because. You're running away from something to find yourself, but you're going forward to invest in yourself. And mm -hmm. that self-investment is, is important for some level of sustainability. It's, it's not what you get from what you do, it's what you reinvest in yourself. So let's say you, you work and you get money from working and you take that money and you spend it on yoga. That's a reinvestment in yourself. And that, that matters. How much, how much we reinvest in ourselves matters to make ourselves you know, bigger, better, faster, stronger.